If you're looking for discussion on George's passing attack and Carson Beck, we did 20 minutes on that in another Film Don't Lie video. We're focusing on George's running game here. Brent, overall, I think it was a concern heading into the season for Georgia with the injury to Branson Robinson. Uh, Dejan Edwards coming back off of a minor injury. Same with Kendall Milton, though he played. Running game, running concepts, run blocking. You had a new left tackle. Overall thoughts as I pull this video up. And thank you, Breda Pest Management, ASW Distilleries. Very loyal partners of Film Don't Lie. Y'all support them, BredaPest.com, ASW Distilleries. A little bit of good, a little bit of not so good. And the, and the interesting part was the not so good was sometimes it was one block. Sometimes it was scheme. Sometimes it was the running back. And it was just, it wasn't just in sync, I guess you could say. And I think the other part is like we're showing counter here. It's one of, I think, two they ran the entirety of the game. And that was obviously a staple of Georgia's running game a season ago. And this is one where it's just tough. What they got was actually phenomenal for what it was because looking at how this is, is, they're just outnumbered here. And for this to be a, like if you snap it, pause it at the snap. There we go. They've got six guys on, on the line. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six guys on the, along the line. And then the one linebacker. And then the single safety who's like eight yards deep. Everybody else is manned up. So eight-man box in essence. And I think what Oscar Delp is looking at at the tight end of the snap, because the furthest outside guy kind of walked up right before the snap is I don't even think he's paying attention to that guy, but ideally to me, the furthest outside guy, because of where this, the alignment and the numbers doesn't even get blocked. And this has to be a quicker inside counter where the guy that Ernest green ends up hitting to me should be the guy that gets kicked out. And it just had to hit really quick and almost right over top the center because of how many bodies they had there. And that's one where you call it and then they line up how they line up versus how they'd lined up the entirety of the game to that point. You, you don't get as much success, but I would say it was a great job of pushing the pile and, you know, running physical and staying up and getting what they got there. And looking at Dylan Bell's route at the top with the hitch here, we think this is a counter RPO. Uh, I mean, nah. Or, or is this just all acting there? I think that's more just possibly adding for it at some point, making it as a potential threat. So because, think. like, Beck in no way, like, he's staring at the running back after he hands the ball off. Like, yeah. he's in no way looking at and or potentially thinking about uh, throwing the football. Well, I was interested because in our gushing over Makai Muse, I love his uh, blocking effort here. And it's not going to get he as fights. much play as his touchdown. But he found a dude and put arms on him, even though it was far away from the play. And if he's doing that, and if Ladd McConkey does that when he comes back, I kind of like at least the effort there. Yeah, and this is, like I said, it's one where the running game, running game is so much of a rhythm thing. And getting comfortable within the blocks and knowing sort of what the defense is doing, they were pretty not very diverse, let's say, within their running game in this game. And I think that will change as we get move forward. This is one where the freshman just kind of missed. Yeah. And we always talk about, and you hear me harp consistently on, I can't remember, and I can't remember if this was third down or not. I don't think so. Uh, but you always hear me harp on running backs being patient to the th hole and then accelerating through it. And if he's a little more patient, the hole opens up like right after he gets the ball. And it's easier to see from the end zone angle. Right, right. One more, one more count. Right there. There is now a hole for him to run through to the right. Like if yes. Like that's where the hole is on this play. You see sort of butts and you helmets. See, you can see this yes. trio of linemen kind of setting the edge there. Yes, and he sort of didn't – he initially didn't take that patient. Like he, You see it even more so open up there. Obviously, he's going there and thus heads are going there. But it's one where 
hey, the running game is has to – there's so many moving parts, right? Versus, hey, pass protect, QB throws, one wide receiver open catch. Like it's all working together within the running game. And this is one where he just got a little impatient, and that's a true freshman for you. I saw more RPO potential here, motion man, because I like this with all this space and a blocker to get the first down. Be curious to see if that's a wrinkle that they have in there. Don't think that this was that, but I like seeing it. Yeah, and I, what's interesting with a lot of these, this inside zone and some of the split zone looks that they did, I mean, that was the really the majority of the running game. Uh, a few, I mean, we'll, see, we'll get to the toss play in a little bit, but split zone, inside zone type stuff. Split zones when four dealt comes across the formation. But Beck's reaction after the handoff, like this consistently within the game, he's moving forward. I don't know that I agree with that. Like to me, I would always want him, given that we know he's not a true threat to keep the ball, to Fake be the looking to be sort of his fakes be throwing based, not yeah. necessarily be running based. Uh, now, unless it's a point. clear we're only reading one defender, like which happened a little later in, you know, a couple of different times and one guy's unblocked. But I would still much rather his fakes be throwing for hesi- to cause some level of hesitation versus him taking a few steps forward after handing the ball off. It's not going to do it, anything. Yeah, eventually defenses are going to watch enough tape and be like, he's not going to run. Like He's always going to hand it in that spot. So don't worry about that. Just key on the back. Right. Yeah. Uh, this was, I believe, the next play. Yes, I think that's right. This was the next play. Yeah. And this is the toss. Very well done. Great call from Mike Bobo. Yes, and one where, hey, we you finally sort of open it up. And you notice, by the way, that you know, Robinson is a very good downhill runner. He's not going to house call much. He's not doesn't have Branson Robinson's explosiveness, at least not yet. But there's two ones to highlight here specifically. One is Ernest Green getting the first for his first start at left tackle. He gets himself a pancake here, pulling out and getting in front. Great athlete. There were some struggle points from him, but you know, sort of solid overall. But this one was definitely a win. Uh, for Run him. protection is his strength. Boom, and he gets the linebacker. Uh, just, just, just eat, eat grass right here. Give me. Oh uh, yeah, that's gonna be. Oh, he strutted after. Line. He strutted after. He, he just he watched <laughs> the game after he killed it. That's what he did. This is a hunter. Whoa. I didn't notice that piece. I, I, I want you to watch. I'll pause it and circle this. So this is green here. I want you to watch his body language after he knows what he just did to this man. Like, so he gets the thump. And then, look at that. Like <laughs> the little, arms. Little stand up and stare down. Yes. Now, okay. so he's one. The other is CJ Smith. And if you look at sort of PFFs, you know, obviously it's not the end all be all. Even though I work for them, it's still not the end all be all. He had the highest run block grade on you know five different run block snaps that he did. Look at the work that he's putting in right there. And he keeps doing that, by the way. You you he goes off the screen and that that happened another couple of three yards. He's still there. Just pushing still, around San Francisco. Yeah, he's still, you know, blindsiding Michael or that guy. Like just lock effort. on. Get to the right shoulder and drive, and phenomenal job from him. Yeah, earning reps at a position where it's a little bit backlogged. I think we're seeing more CJ, and that's how you that's how you earn him. Especially you know, in this offense, in this formation, that's how you earn him. Uh, probably Oscar Delp here being lead blocker because he needs good to get stuff out too. Good stuff. Did his job. Boom. Hit him. Make enough. sure you don't get the holding. Great. Yep. Big play. Got got things going a little bit. This was one third down call where I almost I, when I went back and watched this, I'm thinking, oh, they maybe think they're going to get two or three yards, and you know they don't, uh, so they have to punt, but you know maybe go for it on fourth. But this is one where the defense, the defensive front, the down guy, the guys with their hands in the ground, play a pass. They're not. This is not a run stunt. This is hey, this is maybe a throwing down. So they. 44 on the nose twists around like the guy on the far right with his hand in the ground goes inside 44 comes around and they can't get to him. Boom. And now he's unblocked. Like he's literally right there in the face. 
the other part of this and where we just highlighted CJ Smith is mm -hmm. Arian Smith gets beat to the punch inside 22 sees it and just sprints to the hole. Like, and that's tough. It's just tough for him because, and that's also, by the way, that's, that's a team who's been watching their tape all year, all summer and prepared for this type of run. Cause we highlighted this duo, like big on big duo type stuff out of that formation turn. And they, they just, they made a better call and a better play than you in this play. It happens. And Kendall Milton getting in the action here. Getting loose. It's good to see him get, get loose for one because it was tough sledding for the most part for him. Obviously you could tell he was kind of that he wasn't full go. This didn't look like SEC championship game, Kendall Milton. But the biggest thing was for me in this game, it was very much, hey, we need to either spread them out to run inside or come in tight to run outside. We saw yep. the come in tight to run outside with Roger Robinson. Here, this is spread them out two by two to run inside. And they just make – like trust blocks a guy end up like inadvertently. Like he fought, gets – he the guy goes inside of him, he falls to the ground, gets up, and gets the linebacker. Like he gets up on the ground and blocks him. Off the ground and blocks the guy. Green has but, no one. But we hit. we always talk about like as a lineman, it doesn't be perfect. Get in the way. No, just get like away. show the effort and get in the way. And like, yeah, is he meaning to do this and block off this linebacker? No, but he's in the way. He's still in the play. Yep. And that's good effort. Like I think coaches will be happy with that. Maybe not be happy he goes to the ground, but yeah. Ernest Green, I'd say, hey, look, dude, don't go backwards, go forwards. Like I mean, I get that. He's probably seen that that guy's unblocked. So, then, yeah, well, then, but once he once he's hit, I'd rather him just keep going. I'd rather guys keep going forward always. Uh, but still, good, positive play. Spread them out to run inside or come in tight to run outside. I think that's what you're going to see moving forward. And I think you're going to see a lot more uh, diversity uh, in Georgia's run game as we move forward. Yeah, that's Georgia's run game. I do think that getting Dejan Edwards back is going to be key for some of the inside running. Uh, great balance yep. from Dacian. I, I think he's going to be a very valuable piece for this team. The other thing that we didn't really show off as much, Cass Jones is a threat out of the backfield. As a receiver. Uh, ev evaded some tackles. Some things maybe not quite as, as great, but like Cass Jones will play. And even when the other running backs are healthy, Cass Jones will play. Yep. And uh, the key is, you know, Kendall's dealing with a hamstring. Like that can get that. You never know when that goes. Uh, Andrew Paul's coming back from ACL. Who knows what goes on there? So, like, he's going to play. Like you said, he's going to be there and get some reps. And he looked good catching the ball out of the backfield. This is Film Don't Lie. We can't do it without Breda Pest Management, ASW Distillery. Also, shout out to Connor Grading and Landscaping because they do a lot of, uh, man, third year now of Around the League sponsorship. Mike Connor in that group. So, check out ConnorGrading.com. Get Breda Pest to come be your pest management. And when it's all nice and your yard is fantastic, pour you a bottle. Sit of back, relax. Bourbon. <laughs> and and survey the perimeter, throw your feet up, throw a little music on, and watch film. Don't lie. It sounds like a great afternoon to me. I mean, that's that's money right there. It is money. It's cash <laughs> money. All right, we have to go now contractually before Roddy fires me. I think I said that last night too. That's not great. Anywho, thanks for watching film. Don't lie, everyone. I'm Dane Young. That's Brent Rollins. We'll see you next time.